Hi, my name is Dr. Mike Smith. I'm the Senior Health Scientist at Life Extension. Do you ever walk into a room and completely forget why you went in there? Or maybe you lose your keys and you have no idea where you put them? Listen, it happens to the best of us. We call them the senior moments. It seems that they start happening in our 30s, and for some of us, it can actually be bad news because we may have family histories of dementias like Alzheimer's. But there's good news. There are things you can do every day that will help your brain remain sharp and recall those short-term and long-term memories. Now, yes, senior moments can be normal, but they don't have to be. The brain is an amazing organ. It's made up of billions of nerve cells, and those cells make important connections to each other. And it's those connections that allow us to think and develop short-term and long-term memories and recall those memories. Now, we call those connections synapses, and as we get older, they begin to break down. And when those connections break down, the brain cells begin to break down, and that can be associated with inflammation and oxidative stress in the brain. And this is where magnesium comes into play. It's involved with over 300 reactions in the human body, from heart contraction, muscle contractions, to even forming memories. The problem is, magnesium doesn't get to the brain very easily. As a matter of fact, when you supplement with it, your muscles and your bones are selfish and they soak up all the magnesium for themselves. However, in preclinical studies, a very special form of magnesium does get to the brain. It's called magnesium threonate. As a matter of fact, it was shown that magnesium threonate increases brain levels of magnesium by up to 15% compared to conventional supplements. Another study done out of MIT, this was an animal study, showed that magnesium threonate could improve short-term memory by 18%, and long-term memory by 100%. Why? Magnesium, when it does get to the brain, it helps to make those connections. When you have better connections, you're gonna think better, you're gonna form memories quicker, and you're gonna recall that information better. We want you to do about 2,000 milligrams of magnesium 3 and 8 every day, which will give you about 144 milligrams of elemental magnesium. Now, for even more support, you might consider supplementing with phosphatidyl serine. This is a fat-soluble form of the amino acid serine. It's very important to normal cell structure and function, especially in the brain. Now, phosphatidyl serine, when it gets to the brain, is gonna support normal nerve cell membranes and those connections, just like magnesium 3 and 8. When you supplement with phosphatidyl serine, you can see improvements in memory, cognition, and language. We also have another thing to share with you about phosphatidylserine. It seems that it helps your brain react better to stress. When people supplement with phosphatidylserine, there's a decrease in brain cortisol, which helps you to relax and remain calm, and that will also help you to recall memories better. Lastly, I want to talk about acetylcholine. This is an important neurotransmitter for the brain when it comes to forming thoughts and making memories. Some studies have actually shown that when acetylcholine levels drop, we can experience advanced brain aging, and that's not a good thing. This is where alpha glycerol phosphorylcholine comes into play. This is a choline-based fat that is the precursor to acetylcholine. People that supplement with about 600 milligrams a day can improve their sleep and cognition. So if you're experiencing those senior moments, I want to encourage you to check out some of the nutrients we talked about today. My name is Dr. Mike Smith. Thanks for watching.